My name's Harry Moore, and I'm an associate broker at eXp Realty. And today we're reviewing seven points you need to know about the Montgomery County, Maryland housing market for March of 2022. It's still early in the year, so it's important to remember that our statistical sampling is small. And that means there tend to be some pretty big fluctuations for the first few months of the year until we get a bigger data set to work with. But here we go. The year-to-date median sales price is $490,000. This is an increase of 0.9% versus January 2022 and 3.3% higher than February of 2021. January of this year actually saw a decrease both month over month and year over year. So the numbers have bounced back a little. During the month of February, the average list price to sale price ratio was 101.9%, which pulls the year-to-date number up to 101 even. That brings the number up versus last month and makes it exactly the same as it was in February of last year. Looking back, this is the highest ratio since July of 2021, which was 102.5%. It could be an indication that the spring market is ramping up. I'll keep an eye and let you know. Now let's move on to the number of homes listed. I like to think about this as how quickly the shelves are getting restocked in the real estate store. During the month of February, we saw 1,026 homes listed for sale with a median asking price of $549,000. That's a hefty increase in new listings over the 781 in January of this year. Again, potentially another sign of increased activity that we normally expect with the coming of the spring market. In February, there were 732 closed sales, and year-to-date, we've seen 1,525 homes listed for sale that successfully went to settlement. That's a 10.2% decrease versus the same time frame in 2021. This might make you wonder if demand is softening. If so, here's something for you to consider. The total active inventory at the end of the month was about 36% lower versus the prior year. So that 10.2% doesn't really seem so bad considering the dearth of homes for sale. Next, I'll remind you about the properties that failed to sell. During the month of February, 166 listings either expired, were withdrawn, or canceled. In other words, they failed to sell. Now, a number of those properties were put back on the market and sold, and some of them were taken off the market and won't come back. But, as I say, every month, the takeaway is, even in this very active market, not every house sells. Another number that's important to watch is the days on market. The median days on market for February was seven days, which is a big drop from the January number of 11. Even 11 days is still a very healthy number. But this could be another sign of a wind-up to the spring market. Now we'll look at the number that's really driving the market, and that's inventory. Active inventory at the end of February stood at 531 homes, which is a whopping 32 homes more than at the end of January. Not a big improvement from a buyer's point of view. This shows that even with a good bump up in new active inventory coming to market, demand has kept pace so far. The plunge in active listings that we've seen pretty much since September may have slowed, and that's good news in my book. To put a bow on it, inventory improved ever so slightly versus January's rock-bottom number, and so far the increase in new inventory has been absorbed by the market. But there are some signals that appreciation might be softening versus last year's numbers. January's dip may have been more of a blip versus a trend, but I'll be watching and keeping an eye on the data and I'll let you know what I see. Today is March 15th, 2022, and one thing has changed in the world at large, at least since February 24th, and that's the war in Ukraine. It's a human tragedy of massive proportions, and the economic impact is being felt around the world. If you'd like to see a recent video about what the war in Ukraine might mean for the housing market, you can click up here. It absolutely has injected an air of uncertainty into our lives, and how that will impact the housing market is a big question. In uncertain times, whether you're a buyer or a seller, The real estate market requires strategic thinking. So if you've been considering buying or selling real estate, you may want to check out my buyers and sellers guides. You can click 
on the links in the remarks below and get a copy for yourself. If you have more detailed questions, you can reach out. My contact information is below, or you can leave a comment in the remarks. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.